Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John and in this video I'm going to show you how to create this interactive histogram that displays the details. So basically what we have here is a basic histogram and in this case I have data for the employees cell phone bills, their monthly cell phone bills. So this histogram here is just showing us the total count of employees in each of these groups uh, for their specific bill amount. So we had 71 employees uh, with a cell phone bill that was between zero and $199, 11 employees with a bill between 200 and 399 dollars and so on and as you can see over here on the right we had 11 employees with a bill over 600 dollars so that might cause a red flag to go up and you might want to know uh, first of all who has a cell phone bill over 600 dollars in a month so this uh, interactive chart allows you to basically click a slicer here so i'm going to click the 600 and that will display a list in this pivot table over here of all the employees and their monthly bill amount for those employees with a bill over $600. So that's basically how this works. You can just click on any of the basically what looks like the legend here or the labels for the horizontal access. It's actually a slicer overlaid here and then see the list over here on the right side of the employees in that group. So we'll first start with the data. This is basically the data we have here. And this is just a list of all the names of each employee and some information about their uh, number, their mobile provider, and then their bill amount over here. And then in column G, uh, I've basically used a VLOOKUP formula to return the group name uh, based on their bill amount. So this VLOOKUP here is just looking up the bill amount in this group table, and I'll show you that in just a second, and then it's returning column two, which is the group name, and then we're using the last argument here is true, which will return the closest match uh, for the VLOOKUP. So that's basically what this VLOOKUP is doing here, and it's looking that up in this groups table over here. So in column column A, we have the group minimum here, and then in column B, we have the group name. Now, you can also do this uh, directly in the pivot table. There's another way to make this distribution chart in the pivot table without having to use the VLOOKUP. However, and I have another video on that that explains it in more detail. However, I like to use the VLOOKUP uh, sometimes because it gives you more flexibility with the actual formatting of the group name here. So we can put the dollar signs in there and uh, also just kind of it gives you a little more customization and control over the group name. So that's what we're doing to get the data to this point where we have the group name assigned here. And now we can basically just summarize this with a pivot table to create the charts. So I'm going to start from this point and show you how we do that. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is insert a pivot table. So just select any cell within the table here, go to insert and then pivot table, and then we'll just uh, press OK, and that'll create a pivot table on a new sheet here. And now what we're going to want to do is we're going to put the group name here in the rows area. So that's going to give us a list of our groups right here. And then in the uh, values area, we're going to need a count. So if we put the bill amount in here, it would automatically s do the sum of the bill amount. Uh, but we want to change that so you could just right click here and then instead of uh, summarize by sum, we'll summarize by count. So now that's going to give us the count of the number of employees uh, within each of these groups here. So now after we have that, we're just going to insert a pivot chart. So I'm going to uh, go to the analyze or the options tab here on the ribbon and click pivot chart. And then basically, uh, we're just going to use this standard uh, column chart here. So I'm going to click OK. And that'll uh, display our column chart right here. So you can see our, we're already kind of uh, getting the basics of that histogram or that distribution chart here. Now I just like to clean this, uh, clean this up a little bit. We don't need the legend here. And uh, we don't even need these lines. We can add some labels instead. So we'll just add data labels. We also need, don't need to see this here. And then I also like to make these bars a little wider. So you can adjust the gap width down, something like that. So just quickly clean it up. So it's starting to look a little bit more like a distribution chart. It also doesn't need to be so big. Let me move this out of the way and uh, we'll just make it a little smaller like that. So we have the basics of our distribution chart here. So now we want to create the list of the employees that we're going to put on the right side of the chart here. So to do that, you could just make a copy of this pivot table that we already created. So I'm going to hit control C on the keyboard. 
just select the entire pivot table, hit control C, and then I'm just gonna paste it over here in column K. So now we have uh, basically this same pivot table, and now we wanna just go and uh, make some changes to this. So instead of the row labels here, let me get it into view. Instead of uh, the groups in the rows, we're gonna remove that, and we wanna put the uh, employee name in the rows here, and then instead of the count of the bill amount, we want the sum. So I'm gonna right click, summarize values by sum, and that'll now give me the, uh, basically the bill amount for each employee. And now we're gonna also wanna filter this down. So to do that, I just put the group name in the filters area here. So now we could basically filter for each of the groups. So if I filter for our 600 plus now and hit OK, you could see that now here's our list of employees that all had bills over $600. So now we just need to insert a slicer for our pivot table here. So let me move this back over a little bit, get rid of this window. So we have our pivot table here and we're just gonna go to the analyze tab and then choose insert slicer. And then basically we'll get an option for which field we wanna insert the slicer for. In this case, we wanna insert it for our group field and we'll hit okay. So now you can see here that we have our slicer for our group field here. And we just need to make some changes, some modifications to the slicer here. So the first thing we wanna do is we only wanna have it four columns wide. So you can choose the columns here in the options tab, the slicer tools, and we might wanna make it four wide or four buttons wide. And you can see we also have some uh, basically some old uh, options in there, some old slicer buttons as well. So I'm gonna clean those up, right click, go to slicer settings, and within the slicer settings here, uh, these show items deleted from data source, we're gonna unhide that. We also don't need to see any uh, items with no data, and then we don't wanna display the header. So I'm gonna uncheck all of those and hit okay. And now you can see here we start to have uh, basically a slicer that's gonna overlay our chart here. So this is all I did in that original example, was just took this slicer here and overlaid it on the bottom part of the chart where these uh, labels are, the horizontal axis labels are right here. Just basically overlaid that and uh, modified the slicer a little bit and then basically you have now a chart with a slicers down here. So if I just click on zero to 99, you can see over here on the right side that my pivot table is now filtering for all the employees that had a bill of zero to $199. So the same thing, you can, it just makes it interactive. As you click these, you can see the list on the right side. And of course you could click or select multiples as well. So if you want to see all the employees uh, with a bill over $400. You could just select multiple items here and you'd see that entire list right here on the right side. So it's a great way uh, to make your chart a little more interactive. Also, you could add this to a dashboard. And of course, you could add a lot more uh, details to this pivot table over here. Maybe you wanna show a trend uh, or some kind of condition, use some kind of conditional formatting to show a trend or something like that of this employee's bill or, or their bill over a period of time. So there's a lot of things you could do with it, uh, but at the basics, this is a great way to just make that distribution chart interactive and get some details behind it. And you also want to clean up the chart a little bit. Obviously here, I just went through it pretty quickly. You can see if I jump back over to my original chart here that I've cleaned this up so it looks a little nicer. And I did that by basically, with if you go into the slicer here and go up to the options tab, uh, you can go into the slicer here and you could choose different slicer styles or you can duplicate one, and then once you duplicate it, you can modify it, and that's what I did here. I basically just modified the slicer, uh, went in here and modified the settings for the slicer to make it look a little cleaner and not have all those borders and all that kind of stuff. So now it just looks like you really just have, uh, basically you're able to click on the labels here and the axis of the chart, even though it's a slicer overlaid within the chart. So I hope you find that useful. Please leave a comment below with any questions or suggestions or ideas on how you would use this for different types of data. Uh, we just use cell phone bill data here, but you could use this for all different kinds of uh, data sets. So leave a comment below again with any questions. And please don't forget to subscribe to my free email newsletter where you'll get more tips and tricks and videos like this. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.